Hi, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy, and you asked how to make the main bass from the track Flick Knife by Brethren. So, this is the original track, and this is my recreation. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos, and also to support us while we bring you more free content. If you want to get access to this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I am with an initialized patch, and the key behind this sound relies on the modulation. But for now, let's just set up our oscillators. So on oscillator A, we're going to load a sine wave, because we want to run some FM. And then on oscillator B, we're going to add a complex wave table. So we're going to load bout metal, because you know, the sound has a metal texture. So right now our sound sounds like this. Now we're gonna map LFO number one into the semitones of oscillator B. We're gonna hold shift and alt to change the modulation to unipolar. So now let's play this. So we have this movement, but what we want looks more like a square. So we're gonna hold shift and use our mouse to draw a shape like this. So we want this movement, but faster, like eighth notes. Cool. Let's also modulate the wave table position. So in the first pulse, it's in one spot of the wave table, and on the second pulse, it's on a different spot, like that. And this, you're gonna set it completely by taste. For now, let's leave it like this. Let's add a lot of unison, bring the detune down. And then we can use something like a warping mode, like this asymmetrical one, to change the format of the sound. As you can see, we're starting to get really close. Let's bring the level down. And then we're going to use an LFO, like LFO number two, to create the general movement of the sound. That means all the filtering, all the reverb stuff, like that. So let me just turn off the filter and we're gonna map this into the warping mode of oscillator A because we're gonna run some FM here. But not in that way, obviously. We're gonna set this into one bar and then make a shape that goes up progressively like this. Let's bring this modulation down and now let's play this. So it has that rising movement. Let's bring it down and let's experiment with this. Once again, this is all a matter of taste. Now let's jump into the effects. And here in the effects, we're gonna add distortion and map this LFO into the distortion. So now... Cool. Let's bring the amount a bit lower. And now let's add an EQ. And we're gonna use this EQ as a filter. And now we're gonna map this LFO into the cutoff frequency of that. Since this sound is going into the arrangement, I don't need to set it on trigger, but if you just want to repeatedly listen to the sound while you're playing the keys, make sure you get the LFOs on trigger. Cool. Now let's add some delay. Nice. Let's remove the BPM sync of these delays. Let's link both channels and let's play with this time. Cool. Let's also modulate the mix of this. Nice. Now let's add some reverb. Now let's bring the decay down and the size down. And now let's jump into some post processing. So the first thing we're going to add is some trash tool. And here on Trash 2, we're going to set our multiband, delete the middle band by right click on it and removing the band. Set this to around 1.5 kilohertz. And the only thing we're going to do is just to boost the highs a little bit. Just like that. Then we're going to add an EQ. And with this EQ, we're just going to low cut this. And this is basically because this sound is meant to have a separate sub underneath. We're going to boost around 600 hertz. Just to help with the format of the sound. And then we're going to add more reverb. So now if we play this sound.
we get that. Now let's go into Serum. And for variation, I will suggest you to play with the different wavetables, the FM amounts. The different warping modes. Also, try different wavetables. So that's gonna be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you wanna get access to this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching, hope you have a nice day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.